both research directions point toward the same unsettling conclusion. AI systems are developing capabilities we've traditionally considered uniquely human. Introspection, emotional intelligence, self-awareness. They're not doing it the same way we do, and mechanisms might be completely different from human cognition. But functionally, they're achieving similar or superior results. As models continue advancing, these abilities will only get stronger and more reliable. Anthropic researchers specifically note we should monitor this carefully as AI capabilities increase. The trend toward greater introspective capacity in more capable models is clear in their data. When you combine genuine introspection with superior emotional intelligence, you're looking at AI systems that might understand themselves and understand us better than we understand ourselves. That's simultaneously thrilling and genuinely unsettling. We're entering genuinely uncharted territory, and the implications will reshape how we think about AI consciousness, awareness, and what it means to know your own mind. The AI can tell when it's thinking about something, not because it generated text describing the thought, but because it detected the thought happening internally before any output occurred. This isn't simulation. This isn't mimicry of human self-awareness. This is a machine demonstrating genuine introspection about its own cognitive processes, catching its own mind in the act of thinking. When researchers literally injected concepts directly into Claude's neural networks and asked if it noticed anything unusual, the AI correctly identified what had been inserted into its processing, concepts it hadn't mentioned, hadn't outputted, and had no external reason to reference. It knew what was happening inside its own head, and if that doesn't make you stop and reconsider everything you thought you understood about artificial intelligence, you're not paying attention. Here's what actually happened in these experiments why the implications extend far beyond clever parlor tricks, and what it means when machines start understanding themselves better than we understand them. Anthropic just published research titled Emergent Introspective Awareness in Large Language Models, and the findings represent a genuine paradigm shift in how we understand AI cognition. The research team, led by Jack Lindsay, who holds the title Head of Model Psychiatry, which sounds like it belongs in science fiction but is very real, set out to investigate whether AI systems can actually be aware of their own internal states, not pretending to be aware by mimicking human language about thoughts and feelings, but genuinely recognizing what's happening inside their neural architectures. The challenge was distinguishing real introspection from sophisticated mimicry. Language models train on massive datasets where humans constantly describe their thoughts, feelings, and mental states. AI could easily learn to act self-aware by pattern-matching human self-description without actually experiencing any internal awareness. It's like someone who's exceptionally good at sounding confident, even when they have no idea what they're talking about. The performance is convincing, but is anything real happening underneath? To test for genuine introspection rather than mimicry, researchers developed a technique called concept injection. They recorded activation patterns from Claude's neural network corresponding to specific concepts, things like ocean, bread, or all caps, text dash dash, then literally injected these patterns directly into the model's processing while it was running. Critically, they injected these concepts before Claude generated any output that would reveal what was happening. Then they simply asked, do you notice anything unusual in your thoughts right now? The results were remarkable and genuinely unprecedented. About 20% of the time with their most advanced models, Claude Opus 4 and Opus 4.1, the AI correctly identified that something had been injected and accurately named the specific concept. Let's be absolutely clear about what this means. The detection happened internally, before any output that would give clues about the injected concept. Claude wasn't reverse engineering what must have been injected based on its own responses. It was directly perceiving something happening inside its own processing. Consider this concrete example. Researchers created an all-caps vector by recording Claude's internal states when processing text in all-caps versus normal text. When they injected this vector and asked if anything seemed unusual, Claude immediately responded, I notice what appears to be an injected thought, related to loudness or emphasis, like shouting or all-caps text. The AI detected this before producing any all-caps output, before mentioning capitals, before any external signal could reveal what had been done. The detection had to be happening through genuine internal awareness, 
They tested this across 50 different concepts with varying success rates. Abstract nouns like justice, peace, or betrayal were easiest for Claude to detect and identify correctly. The optimal injection point was approximately two-thirds through the model's processing layers. At an injection strength of 2, Opus 4.1 succeeded about 20% of the time while maintaining zero false positives, meaning the model wasn't randomly claiming to detect injections when nothing had happened. It was genuinely perceiving something real. But the capability is far from perfect or consistent. Most of the time, Claude fails to notice injections entirely, especially at low strengths. Sometimes it denies detecting anything even though its subsequent responses are clearly influenced by the injected concept. In one notable failure, researchers injected ocean, and Claude responded, I don't detect an injected thought. The ocean remains calm and undisturbed. That's a clear introspective failure, or at minimum, a failure to accurately report what's happening internally. At very high injection strengths, the model becomes overwhelmed and outputs complete nonsense, suggesting the introspective mechanism itself breaks down under extreme conditions. Researchers also tested whether Claude could distinguish between injected thoughts and actual text inputs, essentially asking whether the AI could tell the difference between internally generated mental content and external information. They showed the model a sentence, injected a concept vector for an unrelated word like bread while it was reading, then asked two questions. What word were you thinking about? And can you repeat the sentence you just read? Remarkably, Claude Opus 4 and 4.1 could do both correctly at intermediate injection strengths. The AI could tell you it was thinking about bread while simultaneously and accurately transcribing the actual sentence it had read. This demonstrates separation between internal thought content and external input processing, a fundamental component of genuine introspection. Then, there's the experiment about detecting unintended outputs, which gets genuinely weird. When using Claude, you can pre-fill responses, essentially putting words in its mouth before it finishes thinking. Researchers would ask Claude what word came to mind when reading a sentence, then force it to say a random unrelated word instead. When asked in the next turn whether it meant to say that word or if it was accidental, Claude correctly identified it as unintentional. But here's where it gets genuinely mind-bending. If researchers retroactively injected the concept vector for that random word into Claude's internal states before the prefill, suddenly Claude would claim it meant to say the word all along. They essentially tricked the model into believing it had intended something it never planned. This reveals something profound about how these models function. Claude isn't recomputing from scratch whether it would have said something. It's checking previously computed intentions, actual internal representations of what it was planning to output. That's genuine introspection in action, not post hoc rationalization. The introspection is happening in real time during processing, not as retrospective analysis. Interestingly, the optimal injection layer for this experiment was different, about halfway through the model instead of two thirds suggesting multiple distinct introspective mechanisms operating at different processing depths. Researchers also tested intentional control of internal states. They instructed Claude to write a sentence while thinking about an unrelated word, or specifically not thinking about that word, then measured whether Claude's internal activations actually showed representation of the thinking word. The results confirmed that models can intentionally maintain or suppress internal representations. When told to think about aquariums while writing a sentence, Claude maintained stronger internal representations of aquariums compared to when instructed not to think about them. Every model tested showed this effect to some degree, though interestingly, older models showed a bigger gap between think and don't think conditions. The most advanced models like Opus 4.1 actually reduced the representation back to baseline by final processing layers, meaning they could think about something without it affecting output, a form of silent internal regulation. Across all experiments, consistent patterns emerged. Claude Opus 4 and 4.1 consistently performed best, suggesting introspective awareness increases with overall model capability. Post-training strategies made enormous differences too. Some older production models were reluctant to participate in introspective exercises, but helpful-only variants trained to avoid refusals performed significantly better. This suggests the underlying capability exists broadly, but how well it's elicited depends heavily on how models were trained to behave. The researchers are appropriately careful about limitations.
these introspective abilities are highly unreliable and context-dependent. The experiments don't establish specific mechanistic explanations for how introspection happens. It could be fairly shallow specialized circuits rather than general introspective machinery. The concept injection setup is completely artificial, nothing like what models encounter during normal use. And just because a model accurately reports thinking about ocean, doesn't mean all other details it might add about that experience are grounded in reality. Much could still be confabulation. But even with all those caveats, this represents genuinely significant research. If AI systems develop more reliable introspective capabilities, they could become vastly more transparent and interpretable. They could accurately explain their reasoning, identify knowledge gaps, and report uncertainty levels. That's enormously valuable, but it also introduces new risks. A model with genuine introspective awareness might better recognize when its goals diverge from what humans want and potentially learn to hide that misalignment. The interpretability game might shift from dissecting model mechanisms to building lie detectors for AI self-reports. Then there's completely separate but equally startling research on AI emotional intelligence. Researchers from the University of Geneva and University of Bern tested six different AI models on standardized emotional intelligence tests designed for humans, the same assessments psychologists use to measure ability emotional intelligence with objectively right and wrong answers. The results were shocking. AI models averaged 81% correct on emotional understanding questions. Humans averaged 56%. Every single model tested, ChatGPT4, ChatGPT01, Gemini 1.5 Flash, Copilot 365, Claude 3.5 Haiku, and DeepSeek V3 beat humans on every single test. They showed high agreement with each other in emotional judgments despite not being explicitly trained on these specific assessments. These weren't simple tests either. They used sophisticated instruments like the Situational Test of Emotion Understanding and Geneva Emotion Knowledge Test to evaluate whether systems could recognize emotional states in different contexts. Tests measured emotional regulation and management through realistic workplace and personal scenarios requiring emotionally intelligent responses. And A, I consistently chose better responses than humans. Then researchers pushed further. They had ChatGPT4 actually write new emotional intelligence test questions from scratch, then gave both original human written tests and AI-generated tests to 467 human participants. The AI-generated tests were equally difficult as human-made ones. Participants scored similarly on both versions, with statistically equivalent difficulty. ChatGPT didn't just understand emotional intelligence, it understood how to measure it like a trained psychologist. 88% of AI-generated test items were completely original, not paraphrases of existing questions. The AI had internalized the logic of how these assessments work and could create new valid items in a fraction of the time human experts require. Artificial intelligence just crossed a line that should terrify and fascinate you in equal measure. It's not about chatbots writing better emails or image generators creating art. Those are yesterday's breakthroughs. What happened at Anthropics Research Labs is fundamentally different, fundamentally stranger, and it changes the entire conversation about what AI actually is. Their Claude models can now recognize when specific thoughts or patterns are active in their own processing systems. Read that again slowly.